Simple present tense. What are its uses? Do you want to know? Hi, dear learners. I am Renette from Teaching Learning English. I make educational videos which focus on English-related topics. If you want to learn grammar, vocabulary, writing, English communication, and other English-related topics, then this channel is for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified of my video uploads. How many tenses do we have in grammar? Are you tensed? There are? Hmm. 12. Today, we will only discuss one simple tense and that is the simple present tense. How simple is simple present tense? To be honest, when I was in high school, I memorized all the tenses, but I really did not know how to use some of them. So let's dive into it. When do you use a simple present tense? There are many uses of present tense and to further illustrate this, I will use a timeline. I guess most of you have a Facebook account and we always see a timeline and we can use a timeline in verb tenses. A timeline is how we represent the particular time with a particular verb tense. Remember that in verb tenses, we sometimes have multiple timelines because we use tenses in many ways, in different ways, I should say. Look at this diagram. Looking at this horizontal line, the center is now. On the left is past and on the right side is the future. The middle which is now and so these are our elements of time. So let's start now. The uses of simple present tense. The first is we use present tense when we talk about things in general. What are general things? We say doctors look after patients in hospitals. It's part of their job. We say babies like milk. That's the nature. These are general truths. Let's see the timeline of the general truth. Let's illustrate the timeline. We will represent this. It doesn't happen now or future or past. So we can put a straight line here. The second is we use simple present tense when something happens repeatedly as these are habits or routines. You say, I brush my teeth every day. I watch TV every day or every night. These are repeated action. Same timeline in repeated action so we can put multiple events at regular interval. It happens the same way as in general truth. The third is when we talk about scheduled events, then we use simple present tense. For example, the bus leaves at 4 o'clock. The bank opens at 9 o'clock. This is a regular event. We can put here the timeline in between this. We use the simple present tense when how often we do things. You say, I always read a book. When? I don't know. Just always. My mother usually goes to Manila three times a year. No specific date, but just three times just the same as habits or routine timeline we use simple present tense when we promise or apologize or agree or refuse these are non-continuous verbs meaning you don't use verb with ing you only use the simple present tense to express the idea that an action is happening or is not happening now. This can only be done with non-continuous verbs and certain mixed verbs. Or when we promise or apologize or agree or refuse, we say, I promise to abide all the rules and regulations. You don't say, I'm promising to abide. All right. I apologize for what happened. You don't say, I'm apologizing. You say, I am here. I am not here. Something is happening or not happening. And the verb is am. So we can illustrate this timeline here. All right. These are the uses of simple present. And now let's have a dialogue. I will ask you questions and you read the answers. You can change the answers if you like. Game. Hi, I am Renette. What is your name? Can I ask you some questions? What do you do? Wow, that's impressive. How often do you edit videos? That's great. 
Can you tell me your hobbies? How often do you swim? What time do you get up? Thanks for the talk. It's a nice day. I suggest we go out for a walk. Now it's your turn to ask questions. Are you ready? You ask questions that are related to my answers. Ready? Begin. I play the piano but I don't play very well. I do work from home twice a week. While creating educational videos is one of the things I love most. Oh, a polyglot is someone who speaks many languages. I would love to, but it takes time to learn a language. Thank you. See you. I hope you love the dialogues. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Happy learning, everyone. See you.